Greetings everyone, my name is Twinkle Phoenix and welcome to Dandelion Wishes brought to you. This is a visual novel, kind of like a dating sim. In this, of course, she plays a girl by the name of Heejong. This is her here. And one day she finds a basket of five animals in her room. Three bunnies and two cats. Over time, these become human and all sorts of antics and adventures happen to her. Now in this you can play along with the five routes in hopes of unlocking the true ending. There are both good and bad endings in this and this is more for my female audience. Um, this place of course is going to be a, I'm redoing it again in high definition with better quality audio and keeping the characters with the same voices all the time. Um, I'm still going to carry on uploading the other episodes that are not in high definition for now. And you know making a high definition playlist for those who would rather see this in high definition. Hopefully I do it justice. Also, I'm going to apologize beforehand if I do not pronounce a name correctly or I say a name of a location wrong. As I said before, um, my first language is English and I speak Welsh, which is something here in the United Kingdom and Wales we speak. Not a lot of us speak it though, but I went to a Welsh school. Now, I can speak a bit of Japanese and a bit of Chinese. But other languages are a little bit hard for me, and they speak Korean in this, apparently. Anyway, welcome to episode 1 of The Common Route. This one, of course, is called Episode 1, The Basket Full of Wishes. This is in high definition, so I do hope you will enjoy. Be sure to check out my other playlist. I want to tell you beforehand, yes, I will be covering all the characters at the same time. And I do hope you enjoy. This, of course, is it. Dandelion Wishes brought to you my first ever visual novel, now brought to you in high definition with clearer audio. I do hope you enjoy it, and I do hope I bring the series justice. Well then, let's begin. Bisan. When I came here, everything was so unfamiliar. I've lived only in Seoul for 18 years, so I was worried whether I'd be able to adapt. At first, I had a hard time understanding the dialect, and I'd often ask people to repeat themselves a number of times. It's been three and a half years since I came here, but Bisan's dialect is still hard to follow. I came to attend a college in Bisan from Seoul. Sometimes, people ask me why I didn't choose to attend a college in Seoul. And like me, there are many people in Bisan who want to go to Seoul. But unlike them, I no longer want to stay in Seoul. I couldn't stand my life in Seoul with mom who'd completely changed after she and dad got a divorce. It's been three and a half years since I became independent from my other, but I still lead the same suffocating lifestyle I had in Seoul. A senior majoring in business, an okay T-O-I-E-I-C score, and a slightly higher than average school grades. I came to Bisan to find my dream. I still have no idea. What do I want to do in life? I came to be sound with that question, but still haven't been able to find an answer. I've been living here for three and a half years already. Bisan has its big oceans and old buildings. Though people may be a bit rough, they are kind. And I, I have five precious animals in my life that warm up my heart. Games began. What's your wish? I'll be the winner of this game. I'm never going to give up. Will I be able to be free from this guilt? But I will never use you, my lady. You probably don't know because you're dumb, but it's not every day you see rabbit like me. Your smiling face is enough. Our relationship is just good as it is. You're amazing because you're able to smile despite your sad past.
I opened the door and saw a familiar living room. It's been four years since I moved out from my parents' house. When I come back to an empty home with no one to welcome me, I don't feel like doing anything. I should just have a light meal, wash up and go to bed. My days are always busy. I wake up early to go to school and go to the art club room after class. When I come home, I clean up the house and do the laundry. Then I do my school assignments. And when the hectic week days are over and the weekends come around, I meet up with my friends for lunch and head to the English Crime School. The word busy has become a way of life for me. I'm busy today. I have to go to Crime School. I have to impress the professors. I have to get an A plus in these class. I always make sure that all my class assignments are done perfectly and turn them in by deadline and I actively participate in the school's art club. And despite my busy schedule, I make sure to invest some of my time to study English in order to raise my TOEIC score. Some people tell me that I live my life to the fullest. I always thank them, but hearing that doesn't really make me happy. Tomorrow should be another busy day. I have mornings full of classes and I should study at the library during lunch and then class again and I'll probably go to the art club room to work on my paintings. Dark room, the same old every day. When I lay down on the bed, many thoughts occur to me. I have such a busy life. In others' eyes, my life is probably full of activities that are useful and helpful. But why? Why do I not feel alive? There are many people in Korea, Korea who lead a life similar to mine, and there are certainly those whose lives are even busier and more stressful, but unlike me, they're proud of the fact that they're busy and enthusiastically plan out their lives. You didn't even get in the top five in your class. Sending you to an expensive cram school doesn't even help you at all. Study harder. This isn't enough. If you take a break when everyone else does, you'll just end up being one of them. I don't know what you're talented at. I just don't know. <sighs> the painful memories of my past are suffocating me. Regardless of the fact she's my mother, she didn't know what I was talented at. And I couldn't get rid of the cold expression on Mom's face from my thoughts. The expression would seem to state, Only your report card represents your value. I can still vividly remember mom's face when she told me that it was no use because my grades weren't good enough. But still, I'm living the life as I did when I was with mom. It's not as stressful as it was in Seoul, but even when I'm still leading a busy life, I have no idea why I'm here and why I'm doing these things. I went to attend a college outside of Seoul and joined an art club. I have friends who aren't really friends, and I struggled to get an A plus in all my classes. None of these are what I wanted. In fact, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I have no idea what I'm working so hard for. How can I find my calling? How can I learn to enjoy what I do? No one taught me those things. Hmm. Here I am again. Even I think this is ridiculous. Even I myself can't understand this. Why can I free myself from you? Where's the end to these games? I have to see once again the choice that you'll make this time. I already know that you'll never choose me because you abandoned me several times already. But I still want to see you. If we meet again, perhaps you'll be interested in me. Maybe you will. Think of me as an interesting person. My heroine, I've waited you to look into my eyes again and speak to me. I'm always just a step behind you, waiting. Huh? What woke me up was not the alarm that was set for 7am, but the sound of a cat? No way, I don't even have a cat. I must have been really tired yesterday. I remember going to bed last night without taking a shower and felt a bit gross. And my hair felt oily too. I should get up and take a shower. I looked at the wall to see the time. It's 6.36. Huh, what was that? Uh, I closed my eyes and opened them again. This 
isn't a dream. There was a big basket next to my bed, and inside that basket, cats and rabbit. What? Who? How? The animals? Wait, who brought them into my room? Wait. Wait before that, who broke into my house? And how come my neighbours didn't tell me anything? Someone must have come into my house when I was sleeping. How rude of them. The doors are locked. Who? How could someone have come in without me even hearing them? I scanned the room quickly, but so no signs of intrusion. I must call the police. Ah, but first, the animals. Oh no, how many of them are there? Uh, two cats and three rabbits. A total of five. What am I supposed to do with five animals? Oh, uh, no, no, I must regain my composure. I can do this. I should call the police first. These animals don't belong to me. Hello, is this the police? Someone broke into my house and abandoned some animals here. Yes, things disappeared. Uh, uh, oh, I don't think anything's stolen. Everything's left in touch and the windows are locked. The tone of the police officer over the phone suddenly changed. Excuse me? Yes, I live alone. No, I'm not the only one with the key. No, this isn't a prank. I'm not even sure what happened. I just woke up and found a basket next to my bed with five animals inside. I was telling the truth, but the officer wouldn't believe me. If this isn't a prank, ask your neighbours or something. W wait I desperately tried to stop the officer from hanging up. Can you at least take care of the animals? Someone definitely abandoned them. I turned to look at the animals. All five of them were staring at me. Why? Why are they all looking at me like that? Yes, yes, the address is... Come to think of it, it's a bit strange that... That rabbits and cats are sitting together so peacefully. Are cats this well behaved? Tomorrow? The police officer told me that people from the animal shelter can't come until tomorrow. But, but that means I have to take care of them today. He wouldn't even believe the thought that someone had broke in. It seems that no one would come for an investigation. Asking the police to believe me is not something I can do easy. And I don't have the courage to plead him either. Yes, thank you sir. For nothing. <sighs> someone... Shirley came into the house. What on earth is going on? I went over to where the basket was. The kitten with the bright orange fur was looking at me with sparkling eyes. Look how sparkly his eyes are. He's so cute. He's a real cutie pie. Brown spotty rabbit. He seems a little different from the rest of the animals. He's trying to keep a distance from the rest of the animals in that small basket. He doesn't look like a Korean breed. The small white baby rabbit who's sitting next to the bigger one, as if he's scared. Is that a mom and her baby? But their colors are different. The small rabbit was as white as snow. The big rabbit was calmly staring at me. The color of his fur, it's silver. Wait. Silver rabbit, is that some sort of extinct species? The black cat looked ill-tempered slightly. The rest of them are cute. This cat doesn't look that cute. And it kept staring at me as if it had something to say. I'm hungry. Ah! What, what was that? That cat just talked. Am I hearing things? No, I'm sure I heard it. I'm pretty sure I heard something. I glared at the black cat. The black cat stared back at me. Maybe I really am hearing things. I sighed. I must have been really tired if that is the case. I should at least feed the animals. They will be with me until tomorrow. I was surprised, but the animals are probably even more surprised. They must have felt really nervous to wake up in the morning and find they were abandoned by their owner in an unfamiliar place. As I headed to the living room, the black cat jumped over the basket and followed behind me. The orange kitten, silver rabbit, white rabbit, and spy rabbit followed all as well behind me. Here, eat this. I put in some bread and lettuce in the large salad bowl and put it down on the floor. 
I also put some cereal in a small bowl for myself and poured milk into it. When was the last time I had a decent meal? I always spaced out while eating my cereal for breakfast, but the animals perked me up this morning. Huh? What? I looked up and spotted the black cat inside the salad bowl along with the food. Did he just fall in the salad bowl while eating? He looks so silly. <laughs> I laughed at how silly he looks. Ah, when was the last time that I laughed like this? Daddy, daddy, I need the donuts with mommy. Mommy told me the donut is pretty. Maybe I should open a donut shop when I grow up. Sure, honey, you do well in anything you do. I'm not going to accept that. Ah. Uh, by the way, what's the time? 7.40? Oh no, I'm going to be for class. The hectic classes are all over. I can't even remember what I learned in class today. I always take perfect notes and never miss anything that the professors say. But I was worried about the animals at home and also I was bothered by my messy hair and makeup, which I hurriedly put on before coming to school. I went to the restroom to straighten myself up and then headed to the art club room. Hi guys. Hey you John. As I opened the door and greeted everyone, a guy sitting in the front of a canvas smiled at me. <sighs> something wrong? What's with the sighing? HJ asked me with a concerned look on his face. His name is HJ Kim. He's a junior and we're in the same club. And we even go to the same crime school together. HJ, are you interested in raising pets by any chance? Huh. Why did you suddenly ask? I have to get rid of the animals so I can go back to a normal life. If you want to, just let me know. Which do you like better, rabbits or cats? It's not that I don't like animals, but I have allergies. I don't think I can. HJ shook his head. Why must he have every single allergy that exists? Anyway, who on the earth left those animals in my room to begin with? I was already pre busy preparing for my graduation. But why did you ask if I wanted pets all of a sudden? Someone left five animals in my house. Why? Really? Yeah. They broke into my house. What? HJ sprung to his feet. Is... is that even possible? No, wait, are you alright? Yeah, I called the police and the people from the animal shower will come tomorrow to pick them up. No, no, I mean, did that person steal anything or do anything to... That's the weird part. The house is fine. There's nothing stolen, no open doors or windows suggest anybody came in. And are you okay too? I'm fine. Then this must be what people call the perfect crime. I'm not so sure. It doesn't make any sense. It's like magic. Hmm. This should be the eighth unexplained mystery of the world. By the way, what are they? Puppies? There's three rabbits and two cats. Rabbits and cats together? Yeah, and they're all different. One of the rabbits is silver, another one is spotted, the third one is white, and he's still a baby. He's small and cute. Silver? Is there such a thing as a silver rabbit? Maybe someone dyed it? Well, I don't think so. Anyway, he's really unique. One of the cats is bright orange with stripes, and he has huge, large purple eyes and looks really cuddly. Another one is black with white on him, and he's not that cute. I see, whoa. Anyway, who would be so heartless to throw away fire animals at once and rabbits and cats together, too? I know, there aren't many people who raise cats and rabbits together. So what are you gonna do with them? Send them to the animal trailer? Yeah, I can't raise them. Someone nice will adopt them, I'm sure. Who would adopt rabbits and cats? People usually prefer dogs, don't they? Come to think of it, cats are usually considered as bad luck in Korea, and therefore are not populous pets. And it's also not common for rabbits to be adopted from shelters. And if they're not adopted, don't they usually euthanize them? I heard that's the case for more than half of the abandoned animals there. Huh? They euthanize? Put them to sleep? But 
those little animals have done nothing wrong. I don't particularly like animals, but I never understood this. I never even knew about this fact. They're put them to sleep just because they're abandoned? What right do we humans have to decide that? I could feel myself getting sad. There's no justice. But you can't take care of them by yourself. You, you can't help it. TJ's right. Being as busy as I already am, I don't have time to take care of animals. I graduate next semester, and I have to be ready to find employment. Anyway, I wonder who left those animals in your room. I hope someone nice would drop them at the shelter. Really, who left those animals in my room? The strange thing is that there is no sign of any intrusion in my room. One thing's for sure is that someone did indeed break in and leave those animals in my room. But everything in the room was left unchanged, and since I live on the fifth floor, it's impossible for someone to come through the window. Even the door was locked properly. This is really weird. I said goodbye to Hijay and nervously went home because I couldn't concentrate on painting while thinking about the animals. It relaxed me to see the five animals wandering around the living room. What a relief. Everyone seems fine. I have to decide what to do with them, or I'm not going to get anything done. Mm. This is giving me a headache. And if they're not adopted, aren't they Eugenius and I? I hear that's the case for more than half of the abandoned animals. You nuisanized. Almost they're abandoned by their owners. I don't even know what might go through their minds at such a moment. I almost can't talk. Why aren't you saying anything? You better have a good excuse for letting your rage drop like this. You tried to talk, but the other person won't listen. And the feeling of having your future decided by that person. Don't say another word. I'm transferring you to a better cram school tomorrow. I know that more than anyone else. I made up my mind and picked up the phone. Hello? I called this morning about picking up abandoned animals. My mom never once gave me the choice to choose what I want to do. She wouldn't even listen to me. I'd like to cancel that. I'm not my mom. June 22nd, not July. What am I talking about? Hey John, did the people from the shelter take the animals? Well, actually about that. Oh no, don't tell me they've been put to sleep. No, no, I didn't send them to the shelter. You didn't then? I'm going to look after them for a bit. What? You're going to take care of the an of the five animals all by yourself? Yep. Only for a while. Have you ever raised a pet before? Well, no, not exactly. I was thinking about borrowing books about rabbits and cats from the school library. Although it's only temporary, I should at least know the basics, like what to feed them and does anything special watch out for. I'll be doing some research. But you have a really tight schedule, will it be alright? That's what I'm worried about. I've never raised animals before and now I suddenly have five of them. So I'm not planning to stay in the club until such late hours anymore. Wah! Helped them more enough, more than enough for the last three and a half years. So I'm going to take a break now. But, but nothing will be done without you. Oh, I'm sure it will. You have all the freshmen to help you out, and I'll still come by. I just won't stay until the evening. Don't worry. But the exhibition, the exhibition is coming up soon. Well, it's already really difficult because I have to keep my grades up. You know how many assignments we have in the business department. But. The reason I started to draw is because one day I would have to fill up the hobby section of my resume. But it was more fun than I expected, so I kept going. Anyway, I'm going to leave at 5 every day from now on. I have kids to feed! Are you going to get a part-time job? I don't know yet. If I have to, I will. Whoa, but you shouldn't quit the English cram school. You're still going to go with me, right? I have to see about that. No, English cram school is a must. We haven't gotten the T O E I C grades we were aiming for yet. T O E I C. I'm sick of it. T O E I C. I'm sick and tired of English. T O I E C is a must if you want to get a job at a large company. But I have to do it. If not, I'll lose the competition. I'll never be able to get into a large company. Do I really want to work at a large firm? I have no idea what I want to do in the future. 
I think I did have a dream job when I was young. I think it was something to do with the donut shop. But can I still dream like that at this age? One thing is certain, I'm not happy right now. But I can't just quit everything that I'm doing because then I think I won't even remember what the purpose of living is. And that, of course, is the end of the first episode. So I do hope you enjoyed this new high definition version of the rights. Of course, the um, dialogue that was said by the voice um, changes every time you come in because you have to start a new file for each character when you do their routes. So you guys, um, I do hope this quality was much better. Be sure to check out daily for more episodes and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in episode 2. Bye bye See you next time.